Hey guys, this isn't a woodworking video necessarily, it's more of a repair video. Uh, one of my other passions is uh, bass fishing. Um, one of the things that's happened to me numerous times is I've broken my trolling motor rope. So, I've seen online and then on television commercials for the steel replacement cables that are uh, supposed to permanently replace it, but they want $40 to $80 for these. So, I went to Home Depot and I found everything I needed for $4.00. So I'm reusing the handle that originally came on my trolling motor, but everything else I just bought at Home Depot. Uh, you'll see that as the video progresses, all the parts and everything, and then I show you real briefly on how to do it. It's just a quick video. Uh, it's just an FYI, and I hope it helps you. Okay, gang. We've got our parts here. I've got them laid out. I've got an eighth of an inch nylon wrapped steel cable. We got eighth of an inch uh, crimps. They got a double loop crimp or a single where you could just clamp on the end. Um, and then we've also got clear tubing, which is quarter inch outside diameter. Um, you're going to thread your cable, even though it's wrapped in nylon, through this. Okay, so here's an up close view of the mechanism right here on the, this uh, motor guy, trolling motor. And the way that they had it was the rope was just pushed through here and a knot on this side. So what I did was I took one of those double crimps, looped it through there, and then uh, for just an add, and then you crush that down, and then for an added measure, I went ahead and put a second piece on there. You can see the clear tubing is over top of the cable. You can see the cable has been fed through the tubing. And then it just routes through, and then when you're pulling on that cable, it just makes it move up and down. So we've got our crimp set with our loop, and then you've got the clear housing, and it goes all the way over all the bars. I'm trying to get a good shot here. I'm sorry for the shaky camera. And it goes over these bars, and it just follows down and comes all the way in. And I reused the same handle that came with my trolling motor. If you want to buy a different handle, you can, but there's nothing wrong with this one. You just do another crimp on, on this end, and then you put the cap back on it. That's all there is to this. It's super easy. Now, I chose a four-foot piece of cable that will make it so that when I'm standing up, I can grab my cable. You can adjust when you buy the cable at the store to whatever length you want. Uh, three to four foot is a good choice, depending on your height. Um, one nice thing about the steel cable is you don't get any stretch, so it's very responsive when you pull up on the pin. 